So Keen Sword, it's been an exercise that the U.S. Armed Forces have done since 1986. What it essentially boils down to, it's an opportunity for us, Marine Corps and other portions of the Joint Force, to train alongside our partners, the, the Japanese Self-Defense Force, find that relationship and improve the way that we can operate together with one of our more significant allies in the Pacific. How we can assist the JGSDF with uh, fire support and fire support coordination, our, our ability to take the assets that we have coupled with some of the assets that they have. It lets us take those complementary assets and mold them into something that is a more efficient and more effective fighting force. We have to defend our country by ourselves. And uh, U.S. Marines support contributes to the progress of the efficiency for national defense. Uh, one of the most important factors for bilateral operation is the interoperability. Uh, BGTCC is uh, very important for the interoperability. We are going to coordinate more and more through BGTCC. The BGTCC, it stands for Bilateral of Ground Tactical Coordination Center. Essentially what that is, it is a connecting node that will connect the United States Joint Force with uh, Japanese forces that will allow us to reach back to the Joint Force and pull in things and capabilities that maybe are not organic to the Japanese. Again, something to consider whether we're in sta early stages of competition, crisis or contingency, we're operating here on Japanese land and can assist them in the assets they do have organic to them in whatever stage of crisis or competition we find ourselves in. The medical integration piece is wonderful. Here, what we did is give a chance to demonstrate what a mobilized Role 3 potentially would look like and the sort of asset it could bring to the fight when we're talking about a joint front. So that integration, not just of combat forces, but also medical forces, increases that survivability. So when you have a mobile Role 3, it really can help increase that chain of survival and the ability to actually do prolonged additional stabilization, resuscitation, surgery. Everything we can do more realistic uh, when it comes to combat, right, is just going to benefit our Marines and us in the way how we react towards a crisis. And for King Sword, it was my first time interacting with the Japanese ground self defense forces as we did. And they are as invested in these operations as we are. We were happy to work together, we were happy to see how the other ones work, and happy to understand that we're allies here in the Pacific. They are making a big difference here in the missions we have in the Pacific, in Okinawa, and with our allies. So it definitely makes us feel part, not only Americans, not only Japanese, it's of a friendship, of an alliance, and it's just a phenomenal feeling.